When I was a child, I lived on numerous reservations across the United States. I would always go to dances and I'd always watch. Would catch like a glimpse here and a glimpse there. And as soon as they danced, I would go home and I would draw them. The, the vibrant colors and, and the, uh, the sudden movements and the pace and the flow of the materials. I would try to capture the motion. What indigenous people have to do is they have to operate in two worlds from birth. They obviously have to operate in their world, but then obviously in the mainstream America as well. My name is Eric Tipikani. I'm a professor of history at California State University Fullerton, and I'm also a professional artist. The overwhelming majority of the subject matter in my paintings is uh, predominantly Comanche uh, themed. Um, I use a lot of red and I like the, the bright yellow and, and the blues of so those colors figure predominantly into many of my pieces. Movement, color, all of these things are a metaphor for me for a very rich, vibrant, living and breathing culture. Horses were extremely important to Comanche people. We procured them from the Spanish and then we ended up breeding them and then we controlled the entire trade through the southern plains all the way up through the northern plains. Uh, Comanche children were taught to ride the horse beginning at age three. Uh, Comanche women were just as proficient as the men on horseback. I like to feature parts of traditional Comanche culture mixed in with uh, contemporary imagery. You'll see uh, Comanche men with headdresses uh, wearing suits and ties and, and once again the whole idea here is that we're not a remnant of the past, we're not from some bygone historical era. We're doctors, we're lawyers, we're professionals, you know, we're professors as well. Painting to me is just another form of storytelling. It's another form of teaching. Eagle feathers were awarded and given to an individual for accomplishing something great. This one, for example, was given to me when I earned my doctorate in history. I want people outside to use my work as a way to step off into a story about who, who the Comanche people were and who we currently are. So that was the same as this suit over here on this modern day Comanche. That is more Comanche than anything else. Taking things outside of the culture, making it our own, while retaining our, our language and our, and our songs and the things that- The really story. Matter. Uh, the story that a museum can tell, the story that I can tell in class, the story that my paintings can tell just by sitting there. I think they all serve a similar purpose and they all start conversations. People are essentially the same. They want the same things. They want a good life for themselves and their children. I think something like art is just in a way to attract people to begin that conversation.